This is OpenSUSE 10.2 running Feral 2.0. Uh, I get asked all the time, what the, how do you play certain 3D applications when Barrel is operating? The reason is that, uh, much like Vista, Vista has some of the same problems uh, in that uh, there are certain applications that while the compositing window manager is engaged, they're not going to behave correctly. Um, and so people ask, you know, well, that seems like a pretty big limitation. And hopefully, if you've seen the other video, you've seen that we're actually able to play a movie, and I believe that's something that Vista doesn't do well when the compositing window manager is, is available. But you've seen that works just fine. So XV operations uh, work just fine with the compositing window manager. But I will admit, we are running Barrel 2.0 using Novell's XGL. And you say, well, what's the difference? XGL runs in conjunction with Zorg. So there's a normal XORG or Zorg server running on Display 93, and then my compositing window manager, uh, Barrel, is actually running on top of something called XGL, which is this layer that directly interacts with, um, in my case, an NVIDIA video card. And so it takes care of being able to handle uh, all those special effects operations. But the advantage of it is, is that since there is an actual display, another display managing this device, or excuse me, another X server managing this device, um, just happens to be on display 93, you can bring up programs on display 93. What's the advantage? Those programs will not be running under uh, uh, the uh, compositing window manager of Barrel. They'll be running just on a plain uh, old X, uh, Zorg uh, instance. So that means that I could start up a game, say like Unreal Tournament, in full screen mode, and actually have it play at full speed with all the effects that we're used to. So even though this is a full 3D application. I can have Barrel up and running and still sit down and play a very uh, intense uh, 3D application, even a, a 3D game such as this. So let me go ahead and kill somebody really fast just to show that we have full speed, shadows, everything works. Um, the video card, oops, well, you know, sometimes things don't go as well as you had planned. <laughs> the video card on this system, in case you're curious, is a NVIDIA 7600 GT. So it's no slouch of a 3D video card. So that is something interesting. No. Can you use Steam applications using that same technique? So yes, yeah, so if you have something like Crossover um, for Linux or uh, Sedega, and you have a Steam account, you can run your Steam application as well through Display 93 and, uh, and avoid uh, the issues that normally occur while running Barrel, like you've got compositing window manager. So I just wanted to show you that. That's how you would run an application. Um, I have rewritten my, my Unreal Tournament script to automatically detect whether it's running under XGL or not. Just to, to show you what happens, let's say that we wanted to start up a, K cons a KDE console on our Display 93. Uh, I'm going to type in display is equal to colon 93 console. That will set display into the environment. Let me zoom in so you can see that command. So you can see the command that I'm typing in is display equal colon 93 and then console, if I can spell right. All right. I'm going to zoom back out. Go ahead and enter. So that brings up a console, but you notice one thing. This console, because it's running on the Zorg server that's on display 93, there is no decorator running over there, or window, or what we would call a traditional window manager. Um, you say, well, that's not very useful. If I have a windowed application that happens to be using a lot of 3D effects, how do I get something where I can actually move the window around? Because this window is actually independent, so 
I can still manipulate this window to prove that it's independent of the barrel system. I'll spin the cube and you'll see that it's totally unaffected by any operation there. So one of the advantages, I guess, of running XGL is that you can kind of do this kind of wacky effect where you can have these windows that are totally unmanaged by barrel. But what if I want a manager on there? Well, I could, if I wanted to, start up a window manager on display 93. This is going to be just kind of a little bit strange. Um, so we're going to say display is equal to column 93, and then I'm going to start up FEWM2 and see if that will work for us. Uh, if I can spell correctly. Nothing ever works right in the demo, right? So... Alright. So a couple of problems doing this. Well, first of all, the thing that isn't a problem, the thing that's not a problem is that I now have a window manager and I can manipulate this window that was sitting on display 93. Uh, I still have access to the window manager uh, that's running under barrel, uh, and the decorator emerald that's, uh, that's actually surrounding the windows here. But one thing you notice is that my root window under XGL got encapsulated, so my XGL, uh, session basically got encapsulated with a, with, uh, the FEWM window manager as well. So now I have a window inside of, um, my Zorg server that contains my XGL environment. That's uh, perhaps an interesting effect. So my cube <laughs> is uh, inside of this uh, window. Uh, and then, uh, so I don't know, maybe this is an, a good intentional effect to have something like this. The key here is to use a window manager where you can selectively uh, exclude window IDs. I don't think FVWM2 is a window manager where you can do that. However, window managers like uh, the KDE window manager, KWM, you can. And so you can actually uh, create X resources that tell the, uh, the window manager not to map certain window IDs. And you can tell it the root window ID of your XGL and it'll ignore it and it won't try to map it. So there is a solution. So there is a way to actually run uh, the window manager on, under um, uh, the Zorg server and uh, also continue to use uh, XGL um, without it being wrappered by the, uh, by the uh, window manager you start up on Display 93. Uh, so anyway, I just wanted to show that as well. Hope you enjoyed that. So there's a little bit of tour of the advantages of using Barrel um, inside of an XGL environment.